But we beseech you, brethren, that ye increase more and more, and that ye study to be quiet and to do your own business and to work with your own hands as we command you, that ye may walk honestly toward them that are without, and that ye may have lack of nothing. But I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that ye sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so, them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Now, ain't that great to think about the dead's going to rise out of the graves? If you've got any dead people, they're going to come out of there. When Jesus comes, they're going to come out of there. And if you're a, a Christian, believe in Jesus Christ, you're going to be caught up with them. They're coming out of the grave. And Jesus is going to come and bring them out. He's going to blow Gabriel's trumpet. And when he does, I look for this world to tremble and shake. And when he blows that trumpet, the children of God are going to be raptured up. And they're going to be in heaven right up from the clouds. But your daddy and your mother, my dad, daddy and mother, everybody. Before we go out of the room, I'm going to tell you one thing that you, that you can make it. And, and uh, that's, that's, it said something about that right on that tape. You probably missed it. But uh, what actually is going to happen is what I'm fixing to say what I'm fixing to say is a verse in the Bible. And it says, In the last days, whosoever shall believe in Jesus Christ, he shall be saved. Well, anywhere you're at, Jesus can come. And don't forget what's going to happen here. He told you that. The dead in Christ are going to rise first. You're going to look up and see that your dead people that's been dead all these years or whatever. You're going to look up and see them. There they are, waiting on you and waving for you. And then God's going to come himself with the Gabriel, sound of Gabriel's trumpet. He's going to sound it. When he does, I look for the mountains to float into the sea. And I look for New York to fall flat. And I look for every big building in the world to fall flat. And there won't be nothing but a reworked place for God's people. And it'll be here, and it'll be there, and it'll be everywhere. And it's such a little thing you have to do to get all that greatness is. Believe in Jesus Christ. That's it. That's it. Believe in Jesus Christ. I ask the Lord to help me to do good somewhere. And I got to have vision. And that's what they come and want to get a story about my vision. Yeah, I said, faith there. Well, at the workbench where I fixed bicycles, over here to the left, I had about five or six bicycles. The wind blows my board. It skins the fender. And what I do, I just take this thing and rub it in white paint. Rub it on that fender, and I got to go patch on the fender. And anything, I'd like to patch it with my finger, more than I could with a brush. And that's the way I got to do it, patching with my finger. And uh, I went over there and patched that fender with white paint. Come back. I looked at that, and there was that face facing me. I looked at it. That paint sacred art. That's why it come to me. Paint sacred art. Three words. After seeing that, I think to myself, how could I tell that I can paint art? I'm 
am I ever going to learn to paint further than these bicycles? Can I learn to paint? Will people pay attention to what I paint? And all them things comes to you. And you got a bridge that's long, narrow, to make your decision. And you got to get that decision made before you get to the end of the bridge. And God don't think like he wants me to be rich in this world. There's too many temptations and money. And I guess that's one reason I have never had much money. And when I get to studying about what else I need, besides my coffee and my bread. The biggest trouble to me is staying around here till I die. I've got done got too old to enjoy health. I done got too old to, to imagine a imagination of working and doing what I've always done. I worked hard all my life. Building things, studying things. I tell you, people better fear God and try to do what He wants them to be. Because God is just as much for a Democrat as He is a Republican, and He's no respect to person. And that's the way God means for us to be. You can be a Democrat or you can be a Republican. I'm not neither one. I was born here and working for God. And I do this as much for one as I would another to come here and need my help. But the morning, the first thing I do when I get up and straightened out, I go to that window and say the Lord's Prayer. But I don't believe there's ever a prayer prayed that would come up with his prayer. And I'd like for y'all to remember that. And if you forget everything about God, just remember his prayer. You make it. it. says, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come down on earth as it is in heaven. You see, I believe everything's going to be heaven and heaven. Don't that sound like it, this earth is going to turn into the same heaven as the earth? And the mountains is going to slide off in the oceans and the earth will be recreated and, and uh, a thousand years here will just be an introduction. And then we'll get to go together the first half, maybe a million miles across. You see all the saints of God and everything. You see the Lord Himself. And sit down with Jesus Christ, shake hands with Him, and hug His neck, and see Him. There's so many good things out there ahead, but I can't afford to sit around and worry about my little troubles here like dying. It's gonna be a terrible time at the end of the way. Man, it's gonna be hard for him to make it in the last day. Nation, rise against nation. That's what they're doing now. And kingdom shall be against the kingdom. I can preach that now and tell them it's fulfilling today. And they'll holler peace and safety and sudden destruction. It's going to be strange, it's going to be unusual, and when it comes, to trust in God, He'll give you a narrow escape somewhere. He'll help you overcome it.